take you a little out of Cameroon. Let's take you to Ghana, where we talk about Van Vika, who has a 15-year-old lady that's a child and a daughter, and is celebrating her 15th year, that's her birthday, and saying that God has blessed him so much to have a child like this. And most people out there are not privileged to have a wonderful daughter like this, talk less of having a child of his age who is 15 year old and he says that he appreciates God for everything God has done for him and his family and he's proud to say that he's a father to this beautiful girl who is 15 year old. Well, the Ghanaian actor took to his Instagram to show her off and he shared a picture of his beautiful daughter and child and called her the perfect daughter. He wrote, I am blessed another year, a new age, you today Oh, my wonderful daughter, and uh, he calls him the apotheosis of a perfect daughter, Jane, my chichi, 50 year old today, and uh, I'm saying hooray to you, you are blessed, I am blessed, indeed I have a blessed family, and uh, be all what you want to be, happy birthday my princess, I love you very much, and I pray that you grow up to be a star more than your father, and I am a proud father to have you as a child. And I'll never regret ever making the decision to have you. I'll choose you over and over and over again as a daughter. I love you all, and I love my family. We know about Van Vika, who is a well-known actor in Ghana and has done a lot of movies for us, having a lot of collabs out there with Nigerians and out of Nigeria, out of Africa as well, and is proud to say that he has a 15-year-old child. Now, let's talk about the trending now, which is a net quote. Um, we know about Regina Daniels' husband, yes, and Regina Daniels' mother, who goes by the name Rita Daniels, not long ago ties the knot with uh, her younger boyfriend, and uh, that is to show that the equation is actually balanced and is clear. A daughter gets married to a father, and now a mother gets married to a boy. Now the question is, what is wrong with these two ladies? What is wrong with the mother and child? Yes, we know that life is all about choices, but what could really be their reasons behind such wonderful and incredible decisions? First, it was her daughter, Regina Daniels, who got married to Ned uh, Conquos, and now the mother is getting married to her younger boyfriend. And we've always had rumors of these two dating, but it was not confirmed and clear. And the two actually come online to shock people with their wedding pictures. And she says that love is a beautiful thing, and there is no age when it comes to loving someone. And I am proud to make the decision today that I am getting married to the man I've always loved. And it is to be noted that uh, Rita Daniels, the husband, died 15 years ago, and uh, she says that for long she has kept herself, and it's time for her to make herself happy once more. And the wedding took place in a village in Delta State, Nigeria. She took to her Instagram and posted, True love wins, and rumors of their relationship surfaced on the internet in September 2020. It was also reported that the wedding of uh, Rita celebrity daughter, the Regina Daniels, was not part of their wedding and did not attend the wedding. And uh, Rita was actually shocked because she at least expected her daughter not to be part of her wedding. But unfortunately, Regina Daniels decides deliberately not to attend her mother's wedding. That is to show, and it's a clear indication that she is not supporting her mother, marrying this younger guy, but herself. She is married to a man older than her father and was to be a great-grandfather to her. Now, let's talk about John Okafor, alias Mr. Ibu, who not long ago posted on social media celebrating his 11th anniversary with his wife and uh, his daughter and family. He says that God has been faithful to him, and inasmuch as everyone has called him the most ugly man on earth and insulting his pot belly, he found a wife, he found a beautiful jewel who has decided to stick by him. And he says that when I just met this model, no one ever expected her to say yes to me, looking at how ugly I was. But she could not look at just the inner or just the facial side of me, the physical appearance. She went deep to look into the deeper part of me, and she took me for who I am, for what I am, and the way I am. And she has loved me for 11 years now. I will say that I'll choose her over and over and over again, over anything in the world. 
John Okafor took to his Instagram to congratulate himself on the achievements by writing, Congratulations, it's 11 years today. Goodness and mercy shall follow us. Amen. After publishing a photo of his stunning wife in a black bodysuit, John Okafor took to his social media to counsel men on how to find a wonderful woman to marry and how to love her. If you want to get married, please look for and think well like I did. To pick up a professional model as a wife, she refused to look at my face but held on to the love I built for her. That is the advice that John Okafor is giving young men out there not to go for ladies that look at just your wealth, your money, your physical appearance, but go for ladies who look at you from the innermost side of you, look at what you have inside, what you carry inside, and not what you can give her. Now, let's talk about actress Rosie Miura, who slams Instagram user and a fan for insulting her husband. Well, she says that anyone who insults my husband, I am going to insult you back in return. And we know that this actress actually is married to Tonto DK's ex-husband, Churchill, and that they had a lot of scandal. The two ladies fought over this man. Tonto was married to this man and has a child for this man called Churchill. And not long ago, the man actually declines his wedding with Tonto DK and decides to take on this new lady, who is also into the Nollywood industry and the acting world named uh, Rosie Mera and not long ago on social media and on Instagram a fan actually slammed at uh, Rosie asking her if uh, her husband Ola Kunle Churchill can last for seconds and popular Nollywood actress Rosie in her reply to the lady questions this lady by saying that if my husband doesn't last for seconds on me and then you that slept or you that I slept with your father, can you enlighten us if your father can last for a minute on my body or could last a minute on me? Rosie later says that anyone who dares to insult my husband, I am going to insult you back in return. And she issued a warning saying no one should insult sorry, her husband because no one knows what they go through. No one knows about their sexual life. And the question is, if a fan can actually ask how many seconds her husband can last on her, that is Churchill, definitely there is a question mark somewhere as to say that fans are saying that actually maybe this lady had a romantic affair with this guy and maybe this is the reason why Tonto DK and him could not last in a marriage in a marriage and another fan is asking if he can last for seconds well people have their choices and they know what they will expect in their partners maybe he can last for an hour on this new lady Rosie and last for two seconds with you it has to do with the psychological atmosphere it has to do with your emotions now let's take you a little bit far let's take you into diaspora where we talk about rihanna who is soon to be married to this rapper and also his manager asap Rocky. this guy goes on social media to say that rihanna has had a lot of different relationships and he's proud to say that he met the lady of his dreams and calls rihanna love of my life and my lady and he says that when it comes to anything serious, I am ready for it. I am, in fact, ready to engage and to marry Rihanna soonest. We are making plans towards that. And though everyone expects that Rihanna would be single after her relationship with uh, Chris Brown, which was molesting to her, and uh, her boyfriend, who just broke up with her, has sent Jamel. Several social media users have shared hilarious reactions to the viral news of Rihanna almost engaged to this rapper and uh, they are yet to announce a wedding date or an engagement party. Well, however, it happens and it appears that their friendship actually grew into something else and they are finally opening up about their relationship in an interview. The rapper calls Rihanna love of his life and my lady and also noted that when you know, you know. That is the one and she amounts to a million of the other ones probably have been with. He is even ready to settle and have kids and says that I am ready to be the best father in the world. Well, we are still on the Amasa expecting and waiting for an engagement party or a wedding announcement and while still seeing how the relationship unfolds and where it leads them to. Now, let's talk about Cardi B and the husband who were spotted together dancing and singing to Davido's song titled Fall. 
Well, when the release of this song actually was made public, everyone, mostly Africans, enjoyed every bit of Davido's song titled Four. And not long ago, Cardi B and the husband were spotted dancing and seriously twerking to the song Fall by Davido. That is to show that Davido's song Fall actually has a great impact not only in Africa, but uh, not only in Nigeria, not only in Cameroon, but crossing the boundaries, crossing the, border, the borders and getting into the diaspora where this star was spotted dancing and twerking to Davido's song fall where the two actually shared a lot together and while sharing a lot together got so emotional and started listening to Davido's song fall and before they knew it they were already into it dancing and having a romantic moment out of Davido's song that is to say that Davido's song actually has an impact not only in Nigeria not only in Africa but if it could affect even Cardi B and the husband then it shows that this guy is actually doing so good for himself that was all we gathered for you today on our entertainment news page on your cmtv where entertainment is never enough and we give you rendezvous for much more interesting program and we tell you that in case you miss this edition you can always catch up 6 30 a.m and 6 30 p.m we are here to give you all the best of entertainment gospel artists rush here with 10,000 francs get your songs registered and we are here to give you all the best of promo that you want for yourself and even more all right for presentation i've been See Shantan Doa, you can call me Shantan Max. Have a blessed weekend.